Well, today it seems like more people text than talk. And that's why some communities began allowing people to text 911. And for one local deaf man, that text likely saved his house from burning down. Jermont Terry is live at the Oakland County Dispatch Center tonight. A life-saving text, Jermont. You got that right, Karen. You know, when most people think of 911 dispatchers, they envision them sitting in the room simply answering phone calls. But here in Oakland County, they are a little ahead of the curve. And as you mentioned, they actually have the right to text a text message. I want to show you something. This is a message that that deaf man from Rochester Hills sent to dispatchers. And as you mentioned, it likely saved his house from burning to the ground. I had uh, pulled the, the lever over here like I always do. You but this time, when Mary Powers tried cleaning the oven, she ran into a problem. I smelled something. I came out here and the oven was like fire. So she ran back to the room to tell her son, Scott, to get help. I told him to call 911. Scott pulled out his cell phone but did not dial a number. That means text because <laughs> he's, he's deaf. That's right. Scott sent this 911 text message. I'm deaf. I can't talk on the phone. I need a fire department immediately. That text came right through to operators at the Oakland County Dispatch Center. So from here, I can say, what is your emergency? And send them the message. Oakland County has been equipped with the 911 text messaging for just over a year. And surprisingly, they average around 12 emergency text messages every day. I like to be independent without depending on other people. Right, yeah. I always thought, well, what would I do if my house was on fire? He's fortunate to live in an area where he can get emergency help. We know seconds matters in every emergency. Scott hopes other communities will get on board. When I'm on the road visiting my friends, I would text 911. I would get a response right back saying it's not available. Yeah. Now, this was the first time that Rochester Hills Fire Department benefited from the 911 emergency text, but they're telling me tonight, likely this will not be the last time. Reporting in Oakland County tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4.